Hello. Here's a, a nice rainy day patch for you. And as we build it today, I'm going to talk about um, wave tables and wave shaping. I'll start with a couple of sine waves in oscillators one and two. I'm going to change those later because I want to show you something. But for now, sine wave, sine wave, both up to around the same level. And I'm going to apply some pitch modulation from LFO2 up here on the top panel to both of them and then give LFO2 a rate. I'm also going to add some shape to one of these two oscillators. So what does that mean, adding shape? Because you could change the shape of waves in various um, different ways, right? If you look at the manual for the Novation Summiter Peak, it explains that on these synthesizers, when you change the shape of sine, triangle, or sawtooth waves, then what happens is called wave folding. And that's basically when the peaks of those waves fold in on themselves, resulting in multiple smaller peaks. And that's going to change your sound as additional harmonics will be introduced. More about that later. Um, but getting back to the patch, you can see the rough amp envelope shape I used here. Uh, you can look at the current values as I change them. It doesn't have to be perfect. But that's about what I used. And I'm going to add some additional pitch modulation from the mod matrix. Let's grab another LFO and give that one a rate. Sometimes when you modulate pitch in several ways, it's hard to know what's really going on anymore. I just like to try messing with pitch a lot and see what kind of um, wavy results I can get. So now I'm going to set a low pass filter, give it some resonance, some overdrive, and some noise. And with the noise, I'm going to go to the oscillator menu and apply a low pass filter to the noise to take out some of the highs. Okay, some delay. reverb and then finally from the voice menu i'm going to take unison mode up to two get rid of the detune and increase the spread and also from the voice menu i'm going to add some post filter drive <laughs> So I don't know what your um, your musical training has been. Mine's been kind of spotty over the years personally. But anyway, in case you're interested, these are major seven chords here. Um, the second inversion of the major seven chord because I'm taking these top two notes and bringing them down an octave to here. And that results in two uh, notes right next to each other, which I think gives you a nice kind of dissonance. So that's the rough sound that I was going for but now, instead of a sine wave for oscillator one, let's try the wavetable called octaves and bring that down an octave here to 16 feet. And then I'm going to take the whole key bed down one octave as well, because that wavetable comes in pretty high. And now I'm going to raise oscillator two's octave up to four feet, because now that's kind of too low. All right, so now a different sort of quality. wavetable octave sounds similar to a sine wave, but what's the difference? So in answering that question, I'll talk a little bit more about wavetables and wave shaping. I'm just going to save this um, patch with any name here so that I can go to another initialized patch and we can listen to the wavetable octaves by itself. So you're hearing basically a sine wave there, I think. Listen to an act, a, an, a sine wave, right? Sounds pretty much the same. But as you change shape, you're not doing what happens with a sine wave on this synth, which again is called um, wave folding, which brings in different harmonics. Instead, when you change the shape of octaves, the wavetable, what I think is happening, I don't have an oscilloscope, so I can't confirm what it looks like, but when you change the shape, what it sounds to me is that it's also a sine wave, but it, it's, it's adding other sine waves at different octaves, as the name would suggest. Which is different than going like this, or changing the octave here, where you're just getting one octave each time, you're actually morphing between multiple. So that's a nice alternate take on a, on a sine wave. 
um, that you can use. And it's also unique because normally when we talk about wave shaping, we're not usually changing um, the frequency or pitch um, of, of the note, including changing an octave. We're just adding other harmonics. Listen to a couple of the other wave tables here. So as we change the shape of these wave tables, you're getting different quality, different harmonics. So you'll hear this kind of piercing harmonic in there. But for the most part, I think we would agree that even as we change shape, what we're hearing is this, mm, that's the fundamental pitch that we're hearing. Pitch is what we perceive a note to be. It's what we hear most clearly. Other harmonics are also present. They're perceived more subtly, or sometimes we don't think that we hear them at all, um, but they aren't the fundamental sound. So as we change shape, we hear the quality of the sound change as different harmonics are coming in. But with octaves, you're actually getting completely different octaves coming in. Also, as you probably know, all wave shapes have multiple harmonics present, um, whether you're hearing them or not, except for sine waves, which only consist of the fundamental frequency or harmonic. And sine waves, so sine waves just have that one, um, and they don't actually even exist in nature. They're only synthetic. So anyway, octaves could be a nice um, alternate for you to a, a sine wave. You'll get different qualities as you change the shape as opposed to um, a sine wave. All right. So let's return to the patch and let's maybe try a triangle wave for oscillator two. So you might not hear a huge difference at first listen, but I like how it's, um, a triangle wave has, to me, a little bit more of a metallic sound, whereas a sine wave can feel um, a bit more woodwindy, especially as, as you change the shape, when you get that sort of more metallic and hollow. So play with the shape on these. Go back and do it as sine waves. Again, remember we shifted the octaves quite a bit due to the um, octaves wavetable coming in high to begin with. Um, but hopefully gives you gives you some stuff to experiment with. 